So can you tell me a little bit about the actual, like a day in the life type uh, experience for an entry level undergraduate, like an associate consultant at Bain? Yeah, absolutely. Like what, what type of skills are they using? What types of um, roles are they playing on the team? And what type of work are they actually doing? Yeah, and absolutely. That, obviously, there's going to be some variance. but 100%. Um, absolutely. So, you know, uh, associate consultant is what we call um, our first entry-level yep. post-undergrad position. Um, and you were typically paired um, with someone who's either um, – a senior associate consultant, so someone who's been there in or in their third year, or mm -hmm. you're paired with someone who's a post MBA. Okay. And so typically that associate consultant is paired with another person on a work stream. Mm -hmm. And so it's up to the two of them to tackle a piece or a work stream of the overall case. Okay. Um, and so you can imagine if you're an associate consultant, um, your day probably consists of the following. Um, there's a piece of it where you're meeting with that consultant. Um, mm -hmm. So they're checking your work, um, structuring the work for you, teaching you maybe how to use pivot tables, mm -hmm. teaching you how to do V lookup. So there's a lot of that. Um, or they're giving you feedback on the slides you've put together. But typically, you're going to spend a lot of time in Excel. Mm -hmm. uh, you may be building models. You may be analyzing big sets of IRR data. Um, but typically, you're the one who gathers all the data from the client, gathers mm -hmm. all the external data, and analyzes it. Gotcha. Um, and, and when you say gathers data from the client, are they doing the interaction with the client as well? Does it depend? Or is it just kind of like... They're the ones that get all the files dumped and they have to collate it. De it depends. It. Um, typically, they're the ones who draft the initial data request. Okay. Um, and, you know, maybe email back and forth to the client. It depends, you know, how new this person is. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, they're the ones who make sure we get everything from the client, that the data that we're getting is high quality, and that they're really analyzing all of that data. Yeah. Um, that can mean um, analyzing data and putting it in slides. So mm -hmm. they'll spend a lot of time in Excel um, and a lot of time in PowerPoint, yeah. uh, really taking that data and, you know, sliding it up into charts. Um, oftentimes, you know, we like within, in someone's first to second year for them to build a model. Mm -hmm. um, so some sort of model with some sort of outputs. Yeah. Um, and that the, the definition of model is very loose, but we like to see them do that at one point. Gotcha. But, and what's an example of like... Uh, a model might be, you know, we're going to try to understand um, the valuation if we spun off a piece of a company. Gotcha. Um, so it could be a valuation model. Um, I did a model once around adjacencies and what that might have for revenue impact. Um, lots of different types of models, um, but that's something that we want. We want all ACs to be able to do before they really get promoted um, to senior associate consultant. Yeah. Um, so, but I would say, you know, call it a 10 hour day, a couple hours a day, they're meeting with their consultant, getting feedback, um, a couple hours a day, they're, you know, in Excel, yeah. doing analysis and in PowerPoint. Um, but then there's a lot of other pieces um, to the day. So, right. you know, you'll have a case team meeting once a week. Mm -hmm. um, you'll have, uh, you have extra tens at Bain. So everyone participates. Extra, extra yeah. tens um, are basically um, extracurriculars mm. at Bain that you participate in. Um, and they're extra because they're in addition to your current work. Okay. But people really like being involved in them. Um, but you might be on you know, the social impact team, mm -hmm. um, or you might be heavily involved in recruiting. Gotcha. Um, okay. Or you might be basically the fun chair, um, where you're, you know, planning the events for the office. Social events for the office. Social, yeah, exactly. So, you know, there's that type of stuff that's yep. probably an hour a day. Okay. Um, so, you know, you're in meetings, um, and, you know, you're, you're doing some fun stuff as well, your extra tens, uh, but that's right when you're out of undergrad. Yep. Um, typically, um, you won't be thrown right in front of a client on your very first case at Bain. Um, it'll be either your second or third case. Gotcha. Um, so, so get a little experience under your belt. Before exactly. Bain. Exactly. Okay. So it sounds like at the entry level out of undergrad, you can expect like a, a, a fairly typical day might be you spend some time collecting data, working with it in, in Excel, maybe three or four hours, maybe another three or four hours taking the output of that work and getting it into, you know, presentable slides. And then there's some meetings here and there, and maybe you've got some extracurricular work that you're exactly. doing as well. Yeah. And a meeting with your, your um, senior associate consultant or your consultant that yeah. you're working with. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's definitely a quantitative component. So whether yeah. you're building a model, you're analyzing client data, right. another typical piece for um, ACs to work on is a survey. 
Yeah. So they're writing some sort of survey. They might be coding the survey um, analyzing the results, and analyzing yeah. the results and putting it in slides. So very, yeah. very common. The one thing I would say, though, is that I don't want to undermine the job to just say it's kind of all, all quantitative. Mm -hmm. um, we expect very much ACs to have a voice in the meetings. So you'll have a weekly case team meeting in which the partners and the manager will join. And we very much expect that the ACs present their own analysis mm -hmm. and that are able to answer questions and contribute to the overall brainstorming. So we've had some unsuccessful ACs at Bain, um, you know, where they don't speak up in meetings and they mm. don't have a voice for themselves. Yeah. So um, as much as, yes, they do do a lot of the data work, um, we try as much as possible to make sure that they have a voice in the meetings. Right. Okay. Makes sense. Cool.